Christians across the globe seem to be very concerned about the safety of Christians in India. The global media and the global community seem to be fed with distorted information about religious persecution, especially against Christians in India. In turn, in India, many Christians have somehow portrayed themselves as an oversized victim of religious intolerance often without even being personally affected nor actually knowing the truth, thus spreading fake fear. On the contrary, Christians in India are normally a harmonious and peaceful community. However, since 2014, there seems to be some kind of a fear psychosis that has crept into the community, mainly due to false propaganda and negative narrations of possible religious persecution. I am sure we all know the truth. This seems to be the handiwork of a few so-called self-proclaimed Christian leaders who claim that they represent all Christians in India. These so-called self-proclaimed Christian leaders often have a hidden agenda and some more want to glorify victimhood. This perhaps is the modus operandi to gain global attention for their own selfish reasons. But what you must all be surprised is that these fake leaders don't consult the common Christian nor actually care about the community but want to fulfill their own selfish motives. So when these leaders proclaim persecution of Christians, often they should be treated as hollow statements. Well, the truth should be told whether it is convenient or inconvenient. But it appears truth is told only when it suits a certain hidden agenda. So we took this initiative to clarify and dissociate ourselves from these negative narrations which you too seem to believe. So if you think if you think all Christians are missionaries you are wrong. If you think all Christians are conversion vultures you are wrong. If you think all Christians are gulams of Vatican you are wrong. If you think all Christians are against the Foreign Contribution Amendment Bill, you are wrong. If you think all Christians are against Citizenship Amendment Act, Uniform Civil Code, Population Control Bill, then you are wrong. If you think that all Christians are against the new education policy, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians seek minority status and demand minority appeasement, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians want to convert India into a Christian country, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians oppose possible anti-conversion law, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians want to humiliate Hinduism, you are wrong. If you think all Christians were unhappy when the historic judgment was given by the Supreme Court on Sri Ram Temple, you are wrong. If you think all Christians think that the country is turbulent and the secular fabric of the nation is a threat, then you are wrong. 
If you think all Christians have a problem with India being a Hindu majority nation, you are wrong. If you think all Christians have a problem chanting Jai Shri Ram, one day matram, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians subscribe to the fake fear expressed by some so-called Christian leaders who wake up just before the elections, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians say that they are Christians first and then Indian, then you are wrong. If you think all Christians hate Sri Narendra Modi ji, you are wrong. We wish to change your perception about Christians in India and expose the truth and remove misconceptions regularly by making such videos. Please share with your friends and family and invite them to view it. You are very important to us and we welcome your questions, feedback and suggestions. Please write to us or post it in the comment section. Finally, please encourage us by giving us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. We are Hindustani Christians. See you soon with another new interaction.